hello good morning student now in body movement we will study about movement in earth movement in earth form have you seen earth form in this during the winter so rainy season you may see earth form a lot the earth form does not contain any bones means it does not have bones it is only made of muscles that contract and expand along the length of its body it has tiny bristles called seed on its body which help the earthworm to attach itself to a surface what is there in earthworm earthworm does not contain any bones it does not have bones with which it moves with the expansion and contraction of the muscles we okay it is it moves with the help of contraction and expansion of the muscles and it has tiny bristles called ciate okay the tiny bristles called ciate on its body which help the earthworm attach itself to a surface with which it helps to attach to a surface on earthworm moves by contracting and expanding its body muscles as i told you that it expand and contract due to the and uh, for the moment while moving earthworm fixes one end of its body to the surface and expand its body muscles which carry the other end of the body what happen when uh, you see this the muscles the muscles na so if you see the earthworm so it moves with the help of how it moves it moves with the help of suppose this is your earthworm okay this somewhat like this only it is having small small bristles and this bristles are said to be the c8 okay this is said to be a c8 okay and it is having the contraction and expansion of the muscles okay due to which it moves from one place to another then it attaches its free end to the surface and contracts its muscles this bring the other end forward when you see it contracts it moves its body from one place to another and other part also move against it then this contraction expansion of muscles help the earth form to move with this only it helps the earth form to move then second curve comes movement in snail have you seen a snail in this rainy season it is very common the snail okay a snail has a hard protective shell present outside the body okay outside the body shell present outside is the shell called exoskeleton it is having one shell and inside it there is a snail which helps to come out in so a snail is having a hard skeleton that is exoskeleton which protects the snail it has a large muscular bottom often called the foot of the snail the bottom of it is so hard for the movement a snail moves by contraction and expansion only same way as the earthworm moves in the same manner this snail also moves the foot excretes a slimy substance called mucus which reduces the friction between its body and the ground you if you have seen snail is very common during the days in rainy season so you see some mucus type substance comes out of the body which helps the snail to move from one place to another by the contraction with the ground okay it reduces the friction so that why this snail can move easily on the ground the enable snail to move forward then next one is movement in fish movement in fish have you seen fish have you seen fish you must have seen you must have eaten also many are there non vegetarian those who used to eat fish also the body of a fish is so designed that it is able to move inside water easily you see fish always move inside the water the body of a fish is usually broader in the middle while it is narrower in the front have you seen fish fish is generally like this hmm? this is the 
district which is there now you see it is how the shape is there is designed and able to move inside body the body is usually broader in the middle you see this portion is broader and at front it is and front it is narrower and rear hmm? front and rear and you can see it here this type of body structure is called what is the structure of this body called streamline the structure of this type of body is called streamline shape and it helps the fish to move easily through water streamline so that it helps the fish to move inside the water the skeletal muscles of the fish work together with its fins to help it swim it is also having fins you can see it here which helps the fish to move okay which helps the fish to move easily in the water it has a second structure called the swim bladder what is called swim bladder which filled with air and keeps the fish afloat it is filled with air by which method the fish is able to move fastly in the water during swimming the tail is swept from side to side bend the body on either side alternately and reduce the thrust that propels the fish forward okay to remove the thrust in body get contract with the fins and fish is able to move easily in the water okay fish is able to move easily in the water now next is movement in birds this is the next one movement in birds have you seen birds birds fly here in the sky locomotion is bird is quite very most birds can fly some can run some can swim by some use combination of these mode of locomotion you have seen some birds can fly some one can swim some birds can um, this run so how do they do this all we can study right now flying birds have wings have you seen wings in the bird covered with feathers which allow them to fly you have seen birds feather if you see the birds in the sky you will see the feathers which help the birds to fly like this now they have streamlined body as you have studied in fish they are having streamlined body same way in birds also they have streamlined body which make it easier for them to move in air by which it is easier for them to move in air they are strong but light skeleton with a large breast stone to support powerful muscles for flapping wings up and down how their muscles are there their muscles are powerful and flapping wings flapping wings like doing like this for them to move from one place to another when a bird flaps its wings air is pushed downward this produces an opposite force on the wings when it is streamlined as fish so they, they just pass their air at the back and move forward they pass the air at the back and moves forward and lifts the bird into the air okay that's all for this type thank you students and have a good day